Hello and welcome to another video. Hope you enjoy this one. This one's a little specific, so warning it might get a little boring. Twofold. One, we're demonstrating a demonstration video. The other is we are demonstrating to my new friend Robbie how to do a thing. And this thing has to do with a mask how to create a mask image file suitable to bring into Shotcut for use with your green screen. Doing a little bit of whispering here because uh, people are asleep in the house, so I gotta kinda keep the narrative on the QT, which means on the quiet. Anyways, I'll just get right to it here. I have opened Shotcut. And it's asking me for a project name, and I'm going to call this Green Screen Masker. And I'm going to start the project. Okay, here we go. We have started the project. So the first thing I have to do is bring something into the project, namely the file in question. Oh, look, I've got it all queued up. It's as if I've practiced this. So this is my friend Robbie in front of the green screen. So I'm going to choose this clip, number 63. And there, Shotcut is playing the clip. And as you'll notice, the camera is moving around a bit. This is not ideal. We have to wait for the shot to stabilize in order for this to work. So skipping ahead a bit. Oh, a little bit of movement. I'm skipping ahead, skipping ahead. Oh, I don't see any more movement. Okay. So it is safe to now take a screenshot. And how you do that in Shotcut is you go to File and you go down to Export Frame. And now I have this all conveniently going into one spot. Make sure you keep the .png extension and call this Mask Maker. Okay, so we leave Shotcut now and we have to open up Mask Maker there. In Photoshop or uh, the GIMP not called the GIMP, it's just called GIMP or um, third-party software, external software to allow you to make a transparency. So uh, unfortunately I'm not really well versed in GIMP. It would be better if I was, but for now we'll do this in Photoshop and it's actually pretty easy. The first thing I do is come down here and duplicate a layer. And I turn the layer, which was the background, off. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the mask is in the exact shape of the green screen. So I can pick a magic wand tool and, oh, there we go. The mask is exactly right, except that Robbie's in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect. And I'm actually going to paint right over Robbie. So using my paintbrush tool, I pick a color and I'm going to pick the green screen color. I'm going to hit OK and now, sorry Robbie, I'm going to paint right over you buddy. Here we go, we're painting over Robbie. And you hear that humming in the background, maybe. That's, uh, that's my computer heating up and it ain't seen nothing yet so that whine may increase as the tutorial continues. Okay. So now we've successfully painted over Robbie, and the reason I did that was so that when I go to use the magic wand tool, it doesn't find Robbie. So I'm making in uh, Photoshop. It's pretty easy. You just uh, do a layer via cut, and then I can turn the turn the other layer off and this is what I'm left with and this uh, for our purposes is the perfect mask shape what I do is I uh, I change the color to black and then I take my paint bucket tool and I really really 
blacken it up. And now that that's uh, transparent and it's a distinct shape, Shotcut will recognize that. So I save for web and we want to make sure it's a PNG, portable network graphic. And okay, we got green screen maker. I'm going to call this mask maker one, just in case we have to come back and make another one for some reason, or if you're using another shot where the shape of the green screen and the mask would be different. Okay, so now uh, to save myself some RAM, I'm going to trust that that work. I'm just going to close off programs here to give my computer a little less to do. Okay, excuse me, do you mind if I have a cup of uh, so swallow a coffee here, take a break? I do like coffee. Okay, anyways, uh, computer's working overtime here, so I'm going to have to make this quick. I, we have to prep our shotcut project for uh, green screen. And the first thing I want to do is make some black video. I go to open other, I go to color, and then I hit color again. And then in the top left, I choose black and I hit OK. And this is just a test project. Oh, here in the source monitor, we have, look at that, 10 minutes and 25 seconds of black video. I don't want that much. Dragging the left side handle over to, say, about 30 seconds worth, I make sure playlist is selected, and I hit that little plus button, and there is my black video. I am going to drag my black video down to the timeline. This initializes the timeline. And I want to make sure that the left side of the clip is flush. Sometimes when you drag and drop, this happens. You can click in here, right click, and hit remove, and that will solve your problem. If you want, you can even label this black. You have to hit enter or it doesn't take. Okay, now I want to make more tracks. I want to add, add video track. And I want to add video track. Where are the tracks going? I want to make tracks shorter and I want to use these controls here and I can drag to make my screen uh, different shapes pending my requirement and it'll be something like this so now let's review we have nothing in the project but some black video um, we have to open file because we want that Robbie video in here now when we said 63 and the confusion sometimes is that after you've looked at a clip you didn't actually bring it into the project, so you have to bring it into the project. And you do that by having a look at it here in the source monitor. And you can trim so we get to the part where the green screen's not moving. And I drag this handle over here, and we're safely in that area. Now I'm going to add that clip to the project. Okay. Now I've got Robbie right where I want him. Drag Robbie down to video three. And sometimes that happens. As soon as I drag a long clip onto the timeline, I usually zoom right out so I can see everything that's going on. Robbie's a little to the right, so I'm gonna move him in. And I'm gonna put my playhead marker somewhere in here so to make sure that there's black video underneath and I will demonstrate why later okay so what we're going to do now is apply the effect effects are called filters in shotcut so with the filters pane selected and making sure the clip we want to affect is selected we add a filter and we're going to type in mask or mas is all you need so mask we have the options of simple shape or in this case from file here we have some different things, different masks that you can use, but you want to use custom. And so it asks you for a file. And so you have one conveniently made right here. And you press open. And it's working as you can see on the sides. But what about these top parts? Try using the alpha and it works perfectly. So now we can apply the green screen effect. Now watch what happens. Without the mask, with the mask. Without the mask, with the mask. 
that is how masks work and you know what I'm gonna save the project you can do that by hitting file save or the command which you can learn control plus s we're gonna take a break and come back for part two to make sure my video uh, machine here my editor or my computer doesn't blow up because I'm doing all this at the same time as recording everything I do in 1080p oh my goodness 10 minute video stop that